power forward, six feet ten inches, number thirty-three, Leonard Miller. At shooting guard, six feet seven inches, number nine, Kelly. Ooh, Ray Junior. Starting at center, at seven feet, number five, Mark Williams. Starting at the other guard, six feet, seven inches, number one, La Starting at the other forward position, six foot eight, number 51, Dylan Mitchell. Our starting five, our court wow. spots filled by Barrett and Randall. On goes out there with Justin, and it's Kessler in at the five spot. And for Charlotte, we've got Williams. The mellow ball is out there with Oubre. Then it's Miller, and it's Mitchell in at the small forward position. And late in the regular season, Greg, in your decade plus in the NBA, you were looking forward to the playoffs more often than not. Best attributes. That free throw good for Miller. Greg, you spent your first four seasons playing in New York. What's that like? But when the Knicks are winning... Kevin, there is no place you'd rather be. The fans are incredibly smart, loyal, and they'll treat you like a king. But no doubt that... Here's Randall. What a tremendous game he played against Minnesota. Uncovered. The shot's good. Julius nice play by Julius. Good decision maker. Stolen by Barrett. By Johnson. Oh, let's go home. That was just <laughs> ridiculous. I do not remember the last time I saw a dunk like that in a game. A little over a minute played so far. Miller with a screen on Barrett. Throws it up on and another assist. And he's nearing this franchise's single season record for assists. He has been piling them up all these guys were on fire in their last game. And that'll probably only sharpen his focus. He'll know it's going to take a strong effort at both ends of the floor. Hold this team in check. And there's one aspect of the game with Melo's. And, of course, the New York Knicks right now quite a ways down below. Well, I think for New York, they're down at the bottom of the barrel in terms of standings. I can't imagine how toxic the mood in that locker room has to be smarter and more adept at doing so. Pass to Uber. And he's good on the free ball. They can't miss four for four and warming up the burn. Yeah, watching that game quarter to quarter, they sped up, they slowed down, but they executed in every facet. Ball by Williams. And Williams with the stuff. So the action, getting others involved. He lead to the paint. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Randall passes to Wagner. Poked away. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. And that kind of stifling effort on defense needs another look. You know, Greg, one place you really see Walker Kessler making his presence felt is on the defensive end. And yeah, he has got a nose for blocks. That he be able to detect shots from Green and get a hand look. No good. Ball finds 
Mitchell. Charlotte moving it around. To the middle. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Keon Johnson. First personal foul. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown. Free throw drops for Mitchell. Streaming tonight. Because the pick has to be better. It made no impact, but they still got the score. Here's Oubre. And finished off by Oubre. Oubre. Oubre, the closer he gets, the more excitable he can be. What a finish. They're missing. Hornets have gone 7 of 9 from the field. A really nice start offensively for them. Shots good by Miller. Can't talk enough about the subtleties in that setup right there. The assist, really the key. Coming off that win against Minnesota. Tremendous boys on the offensive end. Overall, they did not settle for bad shots. Saw the box score the next day and thought about those percentages. They had guys just going off in that. Foul call. And now, Mitchell. here are the teams that have beaten up offensively in the season's the second half. The Hornets fourth. And, and as we get to the stretch run of this season, it seems their offense has improved. Leading by six. Mitchell, and then Mitchell the will draw some attention as a scorer, but that's going to open up some passing lanes. Charlotte has gone two or four from beyond the arc to start the game. Williams, a screen on Johnson. Loads it up for Williams. Hammers the alley and crew. Williams. You yourself a double punch. Ball with it. A 17-point game for him in the win against the Hawks in Atlanta. And guys, the other thing that he did well was just facilitate the offense. Back to Mitchell. Williams has a screen for Mitchell. Floats it up for Williams. Takes the alley pass and dunks. to Miller. That falls. Nice feed that time from Ball. Contest. So we'll see if time does tell that guys will get back on the floor and play a little bit more often. Miller with a screen on Johnson. That's good from Miller on the assist from Ball. Outside Ball. Back to Mitchell. Miller with a screen on Wagner. Near the three-point line, it's Mitchell. Who uses the glass to finish the lane. And he's really shot the ball off well, but, but it hasn't been contagious. Miller against Wagner. Mitchell outside. Charlotte moving the ball around. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. Oh, and we're seeing some great ball movement out of this play. Free throw drops for Mitchell. Miller grabs the miss. Here's Charlotte now. They're on a 17-7 run. It's up a three. Carries the long-range jumper. That's seven points from Brandon Miller. 
This feels like it snowballed a little bit on them. The more he tries to shoot his way out of this slump, the worse it seems to get. Another possession, another assist. And he's been piling up the assist. Just five on the clock. There's the pass to Curtis. And a clear foul there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Trying to get a hand in the face, but you've picked by Williams. Mitchell kicks the ball in the corner. It's Ubre. It's good. The assist that time from Ball. Ubre has got eight. And the trip outside. Good tee by Williams. And he gets a lot of points right there at the rim, but the defense determined not to give up the easy deuce there. Just playing with against Minnesota. Curtis, the pass to Johnson, to the inside. It's rebounded by... In this game, despite what's been an awful shooting night for him. Wagner against Oubre. And Wagner drives in, and it's sent back by Mitchell. Pass the ball. Mitchell outside. Good for the basket, number nine. He's only missed two shots from the floor. And fellas looking now with the first half of play. Ground to make up a major deficit for the New York Knicks. If you can't get stops, you can't get wins. I'm not seeing the fight, the fire. Time to get angry. Otherwise, we can call it now. Some tough love from Dr. O'Neill. And that's the group for Steve Clifford as we begin the second half. Yeah, and they've shown effort and aggression in the paint, really, right from the tip. Their rebound edge right now massive. That's unblockable. Ball against Johnson. Pass to Wagner, and it's sent back by Mitchell. Barrett Brent always looking to go downhill. Yeah, and that's his strength, literally, as he improves as a... And another assist for him. Nobody has been a better player in the history of the... It's a record that might be in the books forever. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thank you, Kevin. New York City remains a basketball mecca. And what... Ball surveying the defense. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Okay, Barrett. It's on R.J. Barrett. Foul. The Hornets have shot six or seven on the line. Are you kidding me? First free throw is good. Drops them both. Good for him to miss when the defense is not right up on it. There's Ball with the three. Good on the three-point shot. Ball's got four points now in the quarter. Everything going to play. Down to five on the shot clock. Bangs home the trifecta. A good look there. And he didn't waste it his second three of the game. Mitchell. And it's Mitchell at the jam. Not getting old. Ball, the pass to Mitchell. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Second. You know, I'll tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Hey guys, let's get your take. Very successful with that strategy. Well, looking at the stat sheet, I could just see here tonight sharing the basketball. The stat that comes up most is assists. So sometimes you have to look for your teammate. That makes things happen. They've done it. And he gets it back. Barrett, wide open, he fires. New against Johnson. Here's Ball. He's got seven. Back to Mitchell. Just four to shoot. From deep, three-point territory.
down by Williams. Williams has got eight rebounds in this game. Ball, the pass to Mitchell. Here's Miller. Good, and the Miller. assist goes to Mitchell. Miller. Mitchell's got six assists in the game. He's rewarded with a high percentage look. Yeah, the defense trying to do their best to slow him down, but when he gets room like that, you got to look out. Here's Wagner. And it's sent back by Mitchell. And the shots to say no in terms of falling. Miller with the ball. Picked up by Bell. Miller. And Mitchell is right there. And it just seems... Mitchell outside. Hall with a wide open look. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. Ball's got seven now in the score. Uber outside. From deep. It's rebounded by New York. Handle with the ball. He's got 14. Here's Wagner. And it's sent back by Mitchell. Miller with the ball. Now defended by Randall. He must have been one. Call the foul. He's on. Smith with it. And it's the Hornets, another three. And this is how you want to come out of the head. Yeah. Miller with a screen on Johnson. Mitchell passes to Miller. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. And Matador defense. That's one of these. Green missing. He lacks defense there. He's going to see fewer and fewer chances if he can't bury those kind of jumpers. And now the fast break. Mitchell with the ball. And then Washington with the dunk. Coming into town for the next game. And that game is the second of two straight at home. Green dishes to Mitchell. In the corner, Smith with it. And another three for Charlotte. He's just stretching him out. The mid-range to knock it down. Green kicks to Mitchell. In the corner. Wow, wide open. Let's go. Smith's got 14 points here in the second. Six to shoot. And he drops in the middle. Let's go. The blow by. What you call it? Another rebound there. To get a freaking uh, R assist of. Wow, Kevin, what a performance we are seeing. And they press them. We're driving to the basket. And the lead seems to be growing. Out to Barrett. Shot to stop the run. Mm -hmm. Block number six. And some changes here for the Hornets. Curry Seven. could win this year, and they have earned it tonight. We'll make it 62 wins on the year four. We're going to keep pushing till the game's over here. Seven. You know, looking back and all. Every throw dropped for Mitchell. P.J. Washington, he's checked in for Charlotte. And that one goes in. Let's go. MVP indeed, buddy. To the paint, just five on the clock. And five. Oh, that should have been a block. Third personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for the two boys. Till the playoffs. We got a couple of tough games towards the end of the season. But I think we'll be able to handle it, man. We built this team. What message do you think this win sends to the rest of the league about your ability to compete at the highest level? Um, we don't send messages. We win. If anybody wants to stop us, they're more than welcome to try. Uh, but we don't need to make any statements. Everyone knows what we're about.